Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to show you how AppC Connect can help us to sync the data between Salesforce CRM and SAP Business One. To begin with that, we will first log into our AppC Connect portal. Once we have logged in, we will head towards the process flow segment and under the process flows, we can see different process flow packages. So the process flow package for Salesforce and SAP Business One integration has been already shared with our organization or else we can also find the package from the marketplace option of AppC Connect. So these are the integration points that has been created under the Salesforce and SAP Business One package. We will head towards a particular process flow that is the Salesforce quotation and to open that process flow we will click on the action button and we have to click on the edit option. Once we have opened the process flow we can see the components under that. Now this Salesforce quotation process flow is meant to sync the Salesforce quotations from Salesforce to ACP Business One. We can also do it vice versa, but for today's demonstration, we are going to show you from Salesforce to SAP Business One. So for that, we will first uh, deploy this process flow and for that, we will click on the deploy option. So we can do two kinds of deployment. One is hosted or cloud deployment and another one is called on-premise deployment. So in case your any one of the application or let's say your SAP Business One is situated on a particular server, in that case we will go with the on-premise or the hybrid approach. And the other case, if both of your applications can be accessible via cloud, we will go with the hosted or the cloud approach. So for today's demonstration, we will be using our on-premise SAP Business One. So for that, we will go with the on-premise approach. So for that, we have to first choose the environment and we have to click on next. In the next step, we have to select the credentials for the respective applications. So here we have to select the application credentials first. Now, in case if you don't have your applications validated, so we have to validate your applications first and then you have to choose the application credentials from the connection section. In the next step, we have the lookup option. In the lookup option, we have to choose any lookup scenario if there is any value mapping has been done. So we have to choose the lookup mapping from the repository section. And in the next step, we have to choose whether we want to automate our process flow in automatic manner or we want to sync our data in the manual mode. And we will click on the finish. Once the deployment is successful, it will show us the deployed message under the tracker section. So in the next step, we will be creating a new quotation under the Salesforce platform. So here under the Salesforce platform, we will first create an opportunity and through that opportunity, we will create a new sales quotation. So for that, we will be using an existing account and a contact person which is already available both in Salesforce and the SAP Business One side along with the quote item which is already uh, placed in both Salesforce and in the SAP Business One. So we will quickly create the opportunity. So we will fill up all the details and we will select the account for which we will be creating this particular Salesforce opportunity. We will choose the type and the closing date and the stage as well. And the other details we have to just fill out. Now once this uh, opportunity has been created under that we will create the new code. And in the quotation page, we will fill out again all the information to create this. So here we have chosen the expiration date and then we have to choose the contact person. 
So once we have chosen the contact person for that, the address information or the billing shipping information will showing up here automatically according to the account and then we will save this quotation. Once we have created this quotation, we will assign the line items for this particular quote. For that, from any price book, we can choose our item. So here we will find our item first and then we will select our item. Once the item has been selected, we will then choose the quantity and the discount if any we want to assign and then we will save this. So now once our quotation has been created, we will head towards our process flow to sync this Salesforce quotation from Salesforce to ACP Business One. So here under the Salesforce quotation process flow, we will execute this. And once the execution will be started, the steps will be showing up here under the tracker section. Now once the execution will be done, it will show us the message that the process flow execution has been ended with success. Now we will head towards our SAP Business One to see whether our Salesforce quotation has been successfully synced or not. So here under the sales AR section, we will search our sales quotation tab and here we will search with the exact account name. So here is our Salesforce quotation that has been synced from Salesforce CRM to SAP Business One. Here we can see all the details uh, associated with this quotation that is the account name and the contact person name and here we can see the exact quote line item that we have added and in this section we can see uh, the discount that we have added while creating this quote has been also showing up over here. One more thing that we can show you over here is that the billing and the shipping addresses that we have selected while creating this quotation that has been synced under the logistics tab of this ACP Business One quote. Apart from that, we are also maintaining different kind of user defined fields, storing the exact Salesforce quotation ID for this quotation under this section. So in this way, we can also uh, prevent any kind of duplicate scenario and also we can search by this particular quotation ID and we can locate the exact Salesforce quotation. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is that we are going to convert this sales quotation into sales order and we will sync that sales order from SAP Business One to Salesforce Direction. So for that, we will copy this sales quotation into sales order. And now we will select some information over here. So we'll select the delivery date and then we will select the tax code. So in this case, we are using exempt and then we will add this sales order. Once this sales order has been added, we have another process flow that will sync this sales order from SAP Business One to Salesforce Direction. Now we will head towards the order add synchronization. So the order that we have just converted from the Salesforce quotation will get synced into our Salesforce. So for that, we will in the same way execute this process flow. Now once the process flow will be executed, the order along with the order line item details will get synced into the Salesforce direction. So now we will go to the Salesforce site and then we will go to the SAP order section. So uh, the SAP order number has been synced from the SAP Business One to Salesforce direction and our last SAP sales order number was 169 so we will just click on that. So we can see that the sales order has been successfully synced from SAP Business One to Salesforce along with all the information details this is the exact order amount and this is the line item that has been associated with this sales order. So this is how AppSeek Connect can easily integrate your Salesforce uh, 
and ACP Business One by syncing the data in between that. So apart from the Salesforce quotation or the quotation and the order, we can also sync different other informations like business partner, product, price lists and many more. So the integration scenario has been made easy with AppC Connect's modern iPaaS. To know more about the integration, just log into www.appsconnect.com. Thank you.